B1 Video 3. Past Simple Tense Vocabulary in Context. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we're diving into the past simple tense and exploring five new words to expand your vocabulary. The past simple helps you talk about things that happened in the past, whether yesterday, a few days ago, or even years ago. Grammar. The past simple tense is used to talk about actions that were completed in the past. It's very straightforward. For regular verbs, you add ed to the base verb. For irregular verbs, you need to memorize the forms. Let's look at a few more examples. She traveled to London last summer. They ate dinner together two days ago. He finished his homework last night. Vocabulary. Now, let's check out five new words you can use to talk about past experiences. One, remarkable. This means something is worth noticing or is extraordinary. Example, the view from the mountain was remarkable. Two, challenge, a difficult task or situation. Example, the hike up the hill was a real challenge. Three, fortunate. This means being lucky. Example, we were fortunate to have good weather during our trip. Four, encounter, to meet someone or something unexpectedly. Example, they encountered a bear while camping. Five, journey. This refers to traveling from one place to another, often over a long distance. Example, their journey across the desert was long and tiring. Listening practice, now let's see how these words and the past simple tense fit into a short story. Last year, John and his friends decided to go on a hiking trip in the mountains. They started their journey early in the morning and the weather was perfect. As they walked, they saw remarkable views of the landscape. The hills were green and the sky was clear. However, the hike soon became a real challenge. The path was steep and they had to be very careful. At one point, John almost fell when he lost his balance, but he was fortunate enough to grab a tree branch in time. Later in the afternoon, they encountered a wild deer. It was standing near a river, drinking water. John and his friends stopped and quietly watched the deer before it ran away into the forest. It was a special moment for them. By the end of the day, they reached the top of the mountain the view was breathtaking, and they all agreed it was worth the effort. The hike took them all day, but the experience was unforgettable. They slept under the stars and talked about their adventures late into the night. Now, let's read the same story. Pay attention to the sentences, grammar, and new words in the context. Then, I will ask you some questions to see how well you have understood. Last year, John and his friends decided to go on a hiking trip in the mountains. They started their journey early in the morning and the weather was perfect. As they walked, they saw remarkable views of the landscape. The hills were green and the sky was clear. However, the hike soon became a real challenge. The path was steep and they had to be very careful. At one point, John almost fell when he lost his balance but he was fortunate enough to grab a tree branch in time. Later in the afternoon, they encountered a wild deer. It was standing near a river, drinking water. John and his friends stopped and quietly watched the deer before it ran away into the forest. It was a special moment for them. By the end of the day, they reached the top of the mountain. The view was breathtaking, and they all agreed it was worth the effort. The hike took them all day, but the experience was unforgettable. They slept under the stars and talked about their adventures late into the night. Reading comprehension and vocabulary questions. Now let's see how much you remember from the story. Here are the questions. One, what was remarkable during John's hike? Two, what was a challenge for John and his friends? Three, why was John fortunate? Four, what did John and his friends encounter during the hike? Five, what was the most memorable part of their journey? 
answer key? The correct answers are... Great job today. We learned the past simple tense and some fantastic new vocabulary. Keep practicing and try using these words and grammar when you talk about your past experiences. I'll see you in the next video.